Hello, welcome to my channel. My name's Amanda and I love crafting, shopping, decor and makeovers. So um, I'm just showing you some pictures here of the work in progress. Um, I told you last week about my plans to change the dollhouse layout. Um, and I was actually intending on showing you a bit of summer decor in my real house this week. But I don't know about where you are, but it's not actually very summery here yet. So although I have started um, decorating for summer, I don't feel it's summery enough to share with you. So I'm going to stick with the dollhouse again this week. I'm sure most of you don't mind because, as I say, I've had a lot of new subscribers lately. And I think that a lot of people are enjoying the dollhouse videos. So thanks very much for that. And um, let's see what I've been up to then. So here you can see I've, um, I'm making a drinks trolley. Um, which is quite exciting because I thought as I was moving my um, dollhouse, um, so I thought as I was moving my um, living room upstairs, I thought I wanted a new piece of furniture in there to make it more exciting. So I'm just showing you here how I um, made my bottles and my glasses. Um, so I just got a glue stick, heated up the bottom, and then I just kept turning it round as the uh, the glue dropped down into a sort of a, a bottle top shape. Um, I did use a stick to help in it along a little bit. Um, and um, I did that for glasses as well. Um, I also found it quite handy just to heat up and, and stick it onto the um, trolley because everything's quite small um, and it does fall over quite a bit. So um, it, it's uh, quite a handy thing, glue sticks. I've got this big thick glue stick and I had some thinner glue sticks as well. So I've made some little bottles and some big bottles and I'm really pleased with how it's all turned out. So I'm just pulling that a little bit longer there and then I just keep turning it round um, and it gets a little bit longer and longer and then I'll put it in um, some cold water uh, to, to stop it from continuing to melt. So I thought this was a really cute little project, the drinks trolley, and really easy to make. I just used some um, poster board and then covered it with this um, gold ribbon that I've got, diamante ribbon, and then just cut up some um, bamboo skewers um, into the uh, legs and the um, rail and then I had some beads that I stuck on the bottom um, as uh, little uh, wheels so it's really really cute um, and then as I say I'm making these bottles um, so once I've sort of fashioned the uh, the neck um, of a wine bottle there uh, and then I shall cut the bottom off and then paint it up to make it look like um, a wine bottle or a, a champagne bottle uh, and as I say, it's uh, it's it's quite a, a, a nice, easy um, make to do because I, I did originally um, buy a couple for a, a pound off um, eBay. They haven't come yet, actually. And then I decided, you know, as I like to make my own things. So I did have a look on YouTube and I found somebody who was making these bottles. Um, so I kind of borrowed that idea off them. And then I looked about for printables. Um, for doll houses and for other other little you know um, alcoholic bottles and I managed to get some printouts which I've stuck on some bottles as well to make them look a bit more realistic so I'm just painting this with some um, nail varnish and then I think I'll, I'll do another one and I'm just going to use one of my metallic pens to get the same effect and then I'll stick some labels on it and then I'll have some cool bottles for my drinks trolley <music> decided to paint my staircases in my dollhouse just like in my real house um, I did a video a couple of weeks ago where I showed you my makeover in the hall and on the landing and we've actually painted the staircase white 
and um, grey banister. So I thought I'd do the exact same thing for my dollhouse. Um, and I'm really pleased with how that's turned out. So here is the uh, start of my um, makeover in the, uh, what was the master bedroom now becoming the um, living room upstairs. Um, so I took the wallpaper out and I've decided to put in some panelling. So here I am cutting up some lollipop sticks using my angle measure to cut 45 degree angles so I can make them into nice rectangles. Then I um, stuck them onto um, a piece of card that I've previously measured and cut. And then I, um, just to make it look um, very professional, I put some uh, polyfiller in into the gaps um, so it will all look um, like proper panelling. And then I decided to paint um, it blue. And uh, there you go. And then I got some lovely wallpaper. Um, I, again, it's just a dollhouse printable off the internet. Um, and um, that's I've put that on the top and that on the bottom. So I've got this sort of yellow and blue uh, theme going on. I put the um, skirting board, the white skirting board back in. And I've put in a gold ribbon around my light um, to match my drinks trolley. So here is the drink trolley. I'm not going to put the pieces on individually because they're so small and tiny. I'll probably drop them all <laughs> over the place. So I'm just showing you um, them on the trolley, I think. So I've got all sorts of amazing things. I've got the bottles that I made with my glue sticks. Um, that tequila bottle there is actually a sticker that I've stuck onto a bit of glue stick. On the top, I've got a chopping board. Um, I've got some cheese, which is basically some quilling that I did. So that's a yellow circle. And then I've got an orange uh, triangle. So those are pieces of cheese. Here I've got some, um, it's a knife. So it's a bit of foil and a, a, a bead sort of sequin type thing in the top. And then I've got some sequins here, some brown ones um, that are olives and some green ones that are grapes. And I've put the olives in a little um, button bowl. Um, and then I've got the, a, a box of um, crisps there. Um, and I did just, that was just got that for site for dollhouse printables. So I just printed it out and then folded it up into a box. So that's super cute. Um, some sun chips. So I've got all those snacks on my trolley. Um, and then I've got my glasses that I made in the same way as the bottles. I just heated the bottoms up and then let them drop a bit into a nice curved shape and then I um, use my gold pen on the bottom of those to make them look like um, you know highball glasses that's a gold pen lid which I think looks very much like um, a cocktail shaker then I got this other lid off um, a spray I think it was and I put um, some sequins in there to make an ice bucket um, and I've got a lemonade bottle and then down here, I've got another ice bucket, which is actually part of the same lid from up the top. I just sawed it in half. And then I just cut up little chunks of my glue stick um, to look like ice cubes. And then I got a paper clip um, and sort of folded it into a pair of tongs. I've got a, hot bo um, a box of Heineken there again, just printed off as a printable. And that's my box of Heineken bottles. Um, and then here, this is actually um, sort of like a button, but it was like um, on, on a toiletry thing that I had, a rituals thing. It was a ribbon with um, this sort of button on, which has got a base on it. So I thought that'd make a nice tray. And then I've just done two small little glue sticks 
um, and they're like um, sort of um, creme de menthe and um, syrups, um, grenadine that you can put in cocktails. Um, so I'm just super pleased with how that's all turned out. And I think that's really classy. Um, and I was inspired by, you know, real um, drinks trolleys that I've seen on Instagram to make that. Um, I did have these as well, again, printables, and they were too tall to go on the bottom shelf. So I was wondering whether to put a shelf up there to put them on. Or I might even, when I take the food off the trolley, maybe stack them on the back of the trolley so they look like um, bottles. I don't know whether it makes me look too alcoholic having that much, uh, having that many bottles on there. Um, but I did get carried away making all the little miniatures and I really enjoyed that little project. Um, so I would definitely re recommend if your dollhouse doesn't have a drinks trolley, maybe you should think about making one. So I'm just going to move the rest of the furniture back in. Um, I did say, I think, before that I had to cut that down to fit uh, in this floor because it's a little bit um, lower than the downstairs floor. But I think it still works. And then I'll just put all the other the bits and bobs back in. So I'll put my candlesticks back and my houses and my wood and my lantern. So I think that will all just go back in. And I think I'll put my um, settee back in and cushions and, and keep all um, all that that I had. Obviously, I had just changed the layout in the downstairs and I am sort of going back to this layout because I've got two sets of stairs in this corner. So I'll have to have a little think about layout, maybe make a new settee at some point. Um, maybe even, I do quite like the idea of two settees either side of the um, fireplace. So that's something to think about for a future video. That's the beauty of a dollhouse. You can just keep changing it. Um, although you do you do feel sad changing it, uh, it is fun um, and just renews your interest really. That's my rug. It's basically a piece of towel cut into a square and then I've just put some trim around the edge to make it look more like a rug. I think it's really successful. I think it looks really nice and cosy. And again, just new and fresh. And then I shall put my settee back in. And it's all starting to look nice and cosy and homely now in the new lounge upstairs. So let me know what you think um, about the lounge, whether you like the new look and whether you're excited to see what I'm going to do in the other rooms. Remember, I've still got a kitchen and a bathroom to do. Um, so I'm, again, I'm keeping the coffee table for now. I'm going to put that back and put the tray on there. I've got my candle and my books. I've added a bit of greenery. Um, so I think that looks quite nice. And then when I was looking for printables, I found a little newspaper as well, which I thought was quite cute. So I thought I'll have a newspaper as well. And actually, I think I have room now um, in this living room here for a side table at the side of the settee here. So I think that's uh, something new that I'm going to add in. So this is just a little old camera film case that you used to have years ago when you had film um, and then that was a mirror that was on the wall in the bedroom so it's now a mirrored um, side table so I'm putting the newspaper on there and then I think just to make it cozy I'm going to put a coaster and then I think I'll have a little mug there as well a little mug of tea you can sit and read the paper and you don't have to lean over to the big coffee table. So I think that's a, a nice little new addition. And then just looking over the other side of the fireplace, looking a little bit empty there. Um, so I think I might bring up um, the stick vase that I had downstairs. Uh, and I've added some pieces of lavender in there to make it look a bit more summery. And I think that works pretty well. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, as I say, I did um, have, you know, rushed along and got on with this job quickly, um, but I'm, I'm pretty pleased. Like with a real house, I'll probably do some little tweaks here and there. Um, but at the moment, I'm really happy with that. And I, um, I hope you've enjoyed um, seeing my 
ideas and that hopefully I've in, inspired you a little bit with your makes. So, as always, um, thanks ever so much to everybody who's subscribed. Um, please like and leave me a comment. Um, and I will see you next week. So, for now, take care. Bye-bye.